Hi, and welcome to Mark 1 Sailing. I'm Mark. And I'm Mark. Last time, we started our adventure in Croatia. Got all our supplies onto Ima, our 43-foot Beneteau, and we sailed south. We watched a thunderstorm from the distance, and partly repaired our broken dinghy motor. We left off as we sailed towards some caves in the evening. At the time, we didn't know that getting to those caves would be much more difficult than expected. We did get to our anchorage that night before we were too tired and excitedly awaited the dawn of the next day to visit the cave system. In the morning, we slept in a little and had breakfast before jumping into the water and checking out some of the wildlife in the bay. After that, we got ready to row towards the land. As mentioned in the last video, the dinghy only holds four people, so we rowed back and forth twice before Mark and Son swam back. Now we didn't know exactly where those caves were, so that was our first mistake. We had just seen a video on YouTube that showed these caves and mentioned that they were somewhere in our area, around Cape Kamenyak, and that's where we were. As we knew that they had to be somewhere along the coast, we started going south. We got a few scratches pushing through the greenery and saw a few people along the way, but they were all tourists and none of them knew where the caves were. Finally, after walking and searching for about one and a half hours, we saw them. It was a hot day and we were exhausted. Nonetheless, we were finally there. There were hundreds of people on the beach north of the caves and two tourist boats were on a mooring ball right next to them. Still, we decided to have a look. The caves were awesome. We even found an underwater tunnel that led outside. We swam through and the experience was amazing. It was, however, rather dark in there for the camera. Now here comes the good part. This is the path we took to get to the caves. And this is how we got back. It took us a quarter of the time. Back on the boat, we rested until the afternoon, went for a swim and washed. The plan was to sail through the night and still reach Kreis. The original plan was to sail through the first night and get there and only sail back up north for the rest of the week. But we thought there would be enough time to sail there now, spend a day and night near the island and spend the next three days sailing back north. So we got everything ready to sail. This was the travel plan on the chart plotter. It was my first real night sail and a great experience. We never really lost sight of land and got to sail a lot. We started to play the guitar and sing along for three quarters of the trip, until everyone's voices were hoarse. But I have no footage of it as it was pretty dark and, well, you may not want to hear us sing. Leave a comment if you think we should film it next time. At 4am we arrived at the bay we wanted to anchor. We had to watch out for a shallow patch in it in the dark, which was difficult, but we managed. This is the bay in the morning. It's the start of our third full day. We were in this beautiful bay, but it, it wasn't beautiful enough, so 
We're sailing on. <laughs> <laughs> So, that's what we're going to do in the next episode. We're also going to sail back to the mainland in a bit of a storm and some of us may not be as accustomed to the large waves as they might have wished. But you'll have to wait for Friday after next to see it. In the meantime, you can watch the next episode of Ships of Old coming out next Friday. Ships of Old covers everything and anything to do with the Age of Sail. Well, if you like the video, like, maybe even subscribe. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links down in the description below. And as always, fair winds to you.